Is this for real? Perhaps gasoline cars are about to be replaced by new energy vehicles, because with the nationwide deployment of Huawei's liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging, the problems of slow charging and short driving range for gasoline cars will be completely solved. It is reported that Huawei's liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging station can charge 1 km in 1 second, and it can be fully charged in less than 10 minutes. There is no need to worry about slow charging and queuing issues anymore. It is not an exaggeration to say that this technology is more important than Huawei's smart driving technology, and it is bound to trigger a new wave of hype. Coupled with the New Year's trend, this wave of hype may be even more intense recently, at an automotive conference, Huawei announced a major news that is even 100 times more important than Huawei's breakthrough in making 5G smartphones, because it may completely change the future energy structure of mankind and even undermine the century-long energy dominance of the West. It turns out that Huawei plans to build 100,000 liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging stations by the end of next year. This black technology not only provides a rapid charging experience of 5 minutes for a range of 215 kilometers, but it is also compatible with all new energy vehicle models. This will completely solve the biggest pain points of current new energy vehicles, slow, difficult, and expensive charging. It is worth noting that the current number of new energy vehicles in China has already exceeded 10 million, but there is a huge gap in the infrastructure for ultra-fast charging. Industry forecasts predict that the future market size of ultra-fast charging could exceed trillions. Huawei's black technology, building 100,000 liquid-cooled fast charging stations, is this the final straw for the end of the era of refueling? Is this for real? Perhaps gasoline cars are about to be replaced by new energy vehicles, because with the nationwide deployment of Huawei's liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging, the problems of slow charging and short driving range for gasoline cars will be completely solved. It is reported that Huawei's liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging station can charge 1 km in 1 second, and it can be fully charged in less than 10 minutes. There is no need to worry about slow charging and queuing issues anymore. It is not an exaggeration to say that this technology is more important than Huawei's smart driving technology and it is bound to trigger a new wave of hype. Coupled with the New Year's trend, this wave of hype may be even more intense recently, at an automotive conference, Huawei announced a major news that is even 100 times more important than Huawei's breakthrough in making 5G smartphones, because it may completely change the future energy structure of mankind and even undermine the century-long energy dominance of the West. It turns out that Huawei plans to build 100,000 liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging stations by the end of next year. This black technology not only provides a rapid charging experience of 5 minutes for a range of 215 kilometers, but it is also compatible with all new energy vehicle models. This will completely solve the biggest pain points of current new energy vehicles, slow, difficult, and expensive charging. It is worth noting that the current number of new energy vehicles in China has already exceeded 10 million, but there is a huge gap in the infrastructure for ultra-fast charging. Industry forecasts predict that the future market size of ultra-fast charging could exceed trillions. In June 2023, the State Council's General Office issued the guiding opinions on further building a high-quality charging infrastructure system which also pointed out the need to make forward-looking arrangements for the construction of charging infrastructure in line with the development trend of electric vehicles. Therefore, the State Council has laid a policy foundation for the construction of ultra-fast charging stations. This wave of planning may have the biggest impact on battery swap stations. Huawei's liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging is compatible with almost all new energy vehicles on the market but battery swap stations are different and are generally limited to a few specific brands. Although Chang'an and Geely recently reached battery swap cooperation agreements with NIO, it remains uncertain how many other automakers will integrate their vehicle models into the battery swap system. The biggest advantage of battery swap over charging is its speed and user experience. However, with the widespread adoption of 800V ultrafast charging, the advantage of battery swap has diminished. Additionally, battery swap also comes with certain costs, such as high cost, narrow compatibility, 
low rate of vehicle model adoption, and the occupation of chassis space, making it unable to use CTB technology, among other factors. I in the future, there will be solid state batteries with greater energy density coming to market, which will double the energy density. Even if the fast charging speed does not double, it will increase significantly. Compared to this, battery swap stations have no chance of winning. The only solution is to standardize batteries and interfaces, deploy enough battery swap stations, and test the commercial model before the mass production of solid-state batteries. For NIO, it is now a race against time. Can the involvement of Geely and Chang'an really save the battery swap model from the quagmire? I wonder if there are any readers who are interested in investing in this business. I hope this information is helpful. Currently, most ultra-fast charging stations use liquid cooling technology and have high customization requirements. A typical 600 kW liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging station is usually equipped with 2 to 12 guns, usually at least 1 to 2, with each charging head at 36 to 48 kW. The total station requires a liquid cooling system, and the guns and gun wires also need liquid cooling, one water pump plus one heat dissipation, Calculating for four guns, the liquid cooling heat dissipation products required for an ultra-fast charging station are approximately 45,000 to 50,000 renminbi, calculated based on a single station heat dissipation product of 6,000 renminbi. Therefore, the value of the liquid cooling heat dissipation products corresponding to 100,600 kilowatts fully. Liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging stations could reach as much as 5 billion renminbi by the end of 2024. If the total station power is further increased or the actual configuration of charging guns exceeds the assumed four, the total market space is expected to expand further, making it a good investment opportunity currently. Among domestic temperature control companies, some enterprises have reached cooperation with Huawei in the field of ultra-fast charging stations and the demand for liquid cooling on the cold source side of ultra-fast charging stations is increasing, however, I would like to emphasize that it is important to pay attention to the core equipment, the water pump, in the liquid cooling heat dissipation system used for charging stations. There is a lot of content, and I can only cover 10 key points here. You can explore more information online.1. Huawei's liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging station form and price. The HW liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging station is a stack of 12 charging station modules with a total power of 600 kilowatts, priced at approximately 602. Analysis of the development potential of HW liquid-cooled charging pile industry chain. The development of liquid-cooled charging piles in the domestic market has been slow, mainly due to high prices. However, with HW entering the market and collaborating with vehicle manufacturers, it is expected that prices will decrease and the market size will expand. According to estimates, the market value is approximately 60 billion, with a profit margin of up to 6 billion. The liquid-cooled module and gun wire are the key elements in this industry chain, with the liquid-cooled module accounting for a significant value. Yonggui is the sole supplier of liquid-cooled gun wire, expected to contribute a profit of 200 million next year. Point three. three links and beneficiaries of HW liquid-cooled industry chain. The three links of the HW liquid-cooled industry chain are magnetic devices, temperature control, and charging pile modules. The suppliers for magnetic devices and temperature control are Jingquan H and Shenling, respectively. According to profit calculations, each link can increase profits by at least 20%. In addition, integrated or contract manufacturing companies for charging pile modules can also benefit from the HW liquid-cooled industry chain. Overall, these three links in the liquid-cooled industry chain are relatively pure, with high certainty and are more beneficial targets in the HW industry chain.4. Analysis of the liquid-cooled market and ultra-fast charging trend. An analysis of the future development of the liquid-cooled market and ultra-fast charging trend, as well as their impact on the industry chain. It is necessary to understand the attitudes and adaptability of major automakers towards high-voltage fast charging, and analyze the application scenarios and penetration rate of the 800V architecture. 
Additionally, the construction demands for fast charging materials and infrastructure, as well as their impact on the battery end, should not be overlooked. Continuous tracking of the development pace is necessary for recognizing the fast charging trend point 5. Market prospects and development of liquid cool charging piles Liquid cool charging piles have the advantages of low failure rates, low noise, and good user experience. Vehicle manufacturers have high requirements for the failure rate of charging piles, hoping for good stability and fewer malfunctions. Therefore, high-quality liquid-cooled charging piles are expected to dominate the market. Charging piles, as an auxiliary condition for car sales, have an impact on sales. The realization of HW's 100,000-ton liquid-cooled charging pile guidance is possible but the specific implementation method still needs to be tracked. The charging pile industry has high growth rates, and liquid-cooled charging piles also have development potential. Point six. What is the unit price of Huawei's liquid-cooled charging pile? How does the unit price of HW's liquid-cooled charging pile compare with that of other companies in the market? Who are the main users of HW's liquid-cooled charging pile? What is the biggest issue with HW's liquid cool charging pile? The unit price is approximately 1 yuan per watt, which is three times higher than other companies in the market. The main users are government agencies and demonstration stations on the side of highways. The high price is not in line with the domestic ecosystem. Point 8. What is the price of the liquid cool charging pile? The price is 600,000 yuan with a potential gross profit margin of close to 50% and a cost of approximately 300,000 yuan.9. Why does Huawei want to make charging piles? Huawei makes charging piles in order to sell cars, so its investments and collaborations with state-owned car manufacturers are all focused on car sales.10. What is the value of the liquid-cooled module? It accounts for over 40% of the total cost, roughly 20% of the cost. Huawei is not only committed to providing a complete liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging solution, but has also launched a new generation of high-voltage SIC electric drive systems. They also plan to provide a full range of solutions for vehicle manufacturers, including electric drive, battery management systems, onboard chargers, battery management systems, and high-voltage charging. This comprehensive solution is expected to not only enhance user charging experiences, but also drive the development of the fast charging industry chain. Due to time constraints, the business show has just started. So today's video covers the urgent information that everyone needs to know. If you need more information, feel free to leave a message in the community. Community. Community.